All right, so we're gonna go talk about the ultrasonic unit and how we're going to go and use it. But before we go and use it, we need to go and glove up because right now we are on our dirty side. Make sure you're not touching anything over here. No glove, no love. So always be prepared with a glove so that you're ready. First thing that we're going to do, especially at the beginning of the day, your ultrasonic cleaner may be empty. So we're gonna have to fill it up with water and throw a little blue tablet in there. And you're gonna come in some packages such like this, coming out of certain boxes that will say the actual brand name or ultrasonic cleaning tablet. So make sure they go in there whenever we go and use them. But if we go and inspect and take our lid off, we have this bluish water that's gonna shimmy shake our instruments nice and clean. So let's go and look at some instruments that we might go and use. We have a tray here that's been used on a patient. So if we go and check our little basics that we have here, we look them up and down, make sure that they're nice and semi clean. But for the most part, what I like doing before I actually get everything going is give them a rinse. So I'm going to go take this little basket out of my ultrasonic unit, which makes it easier to remove and add instruments, add my instruments to this little bin and give them a good little wash before I go and stick them into that little blue water over there. So now that they've been rinsed, I'm going to go and drop them slowly back down into their little basin, put the lid back on, and go down here to our numbers. Now their numbers are 6 in intervals going up to 60 minutes, but usually it's about 5 to 15 minutes to get a good shake and going. So if I go and hit the button, it'll sound loud. Once our instruments are done and fully shaken, now we can go ahead and remove our lid, take the basket out to go and attend to our instruments, and because all that water gets the brunt of the day of every single patient, we're going to want to go and give it a good rinse. So we're going to rinse and wash and get those nice and handled, and we can go take it over here to our area where we're going to be drying, and have that basket flip out away from you so that we don't risk it going onto our feet, onto us, and to keep everything clean. Go ahead and put the basket back in, wait for the next load or start the next load, lid back on, and we are ready to go.